Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. One of the subscribers asked me to do a video for a best fit alignment in PC Dimis. So here it is. Just a little disclaimer first. Please remember that although my channel is here to help in any way possible, you should get trained by a trainer from Hexagon or Zeiss or GOM whoever is speciali specialized uh, to train you in the software you are working on. You, I know that many companies rely on self-schooled employees. Uh, I've been in that position, but ask for a specialized training and make them understand how important it is. I personally would not have this knowledge that I have on this domain today if I haven't got trainings from people that are trained to do so. So I am grateful for those trainings and they teach me a lot so make sure you do some trainings as well. Now that that's all out of the way let's move on. So first we have to establish some rules in how and when to use best fit alignments. First, you can use it when no datums are presented on the drawing. And second, you can do it if you want to see fast if the part has deviation on distances that are not constrained by datums. Also, you can use best fit alignment for a simple manual alignment that uh, uh, at the start of the program. Now that we know when to use it, we have to know how to use it. Know that in order to do a good best fit alignment, you have to take all degrees of freedom from the part. Also very important to know is that you have to work only with points or centroids from elements like circles or cylinders. No plays or lines in this type of alignment. So let's get to it. So after you imported your CAD model and you set your working parameters, you can start taking points on the surfaces of the CAD model with Ctrl Shift and right click. So let's take some points on the CAD model. Notice that I'm in manual mode. So Ctrl Shift and right click. Uh, remember that you have to take all degrees of freedom from the part so take points points on all axes x y and z use stable surfaces from the part okay so i will take on z axis for example four points i will take on y axis again four points and i will take two points on x-axis. Okay, after you finish taking the points, click OK, go to Insert, Alignment, New. Now, click on Best Fit and select your points. Click on Compute to check if you have deviations right so check if you have deviations right now and if everything is okay then you can click on ok twice and you are done this is it this is your best fit alignment notice here that you have the degrees of freedom all degrees of freedom are checked so pre-rotation and three translations that's all notice also that you have four methods of doing best fit alignments so let's talk about these four methods for a minute but first you have to remember that 
The origin of the best fit alignment is exactly where your CAD origin is, so make sure your CAD origin is where it is supposed to be. Okay, so let's go back and see the four ways of doing the best fit alignment. So the first one is least square. This method minimizes the sum of the square distances between matching measured and nominal points. Use least square to uh, reverse engineer parts and to troubleshoot manufacturing processes. Least square is the most common best fit type because it produces very repeatable results. The second method is vector least square. It's a kind of least square, best fit least square. This type of uh, best fit projects the vector, the error vectors onto the nominal vectors and then uses these projected distances in the least square fit. So this one, right? Okay. When to use this, again, you can use it to reverse engineer parts or to troubleshoot manufacturing processes, but you can use it also for irregular complex surfaces. The surface may, may be represented as a set of points with unique vectors. The third uh, type of uh, best fit is the minim max best fit. Uh, this one minimizes the maximum error among the feature being fit. Okay, when to use this? Use it to evaluate position tolerances according to ASME or ISO standards. And the last one is vector minimax fit. This one. Okay, it projects the errors uh, onto the nominal vectors and uses these projected distances in the minimum maximum fit. When to use it, use vector minimum max to evaluate the profile tolerances according to ASME and ISO standards. You can evaluate uh, regular surfaces like circles or cylinders or irregular complex surfaces like blades and air foils. All this information that I just told you right now is available on the help provided by PCDMIS. Just press F1 on your keyboard and find what you are interested in. This is all for today, I hope the information is reliable and I helped with this. Uh, until next time, have a nice one.